Welcome back to Google Guru. This video is brought to you by Rich Kiker, Google Apps Certified Trainer as part of the Belmar School District Chromebook Project. I get the question often about embedding content, other Google content, onto Google Sites. Here's a sample Google Site that I actually use as an online course, and you can see here I have a project submission form built right into my Google Site. And participants can come right to this page. The form is here. They don't have to leave the, the browsing tab or the browsing window. They can enter their information and sit, submit their projects directly with this embedded form. Let me show you how to do that. So here I am on a, uh, a similar, let me add a page here uh, on a similar course. Let's say I was just going to call this new page uh, Project Submission. Create. This gives me a new page on my website and when it comes up I'll have the ability to edit right here and the way I get content submitted is I go to insert and I have a lot of options here there's some common options down the left hand side there's gadgets down the middle and then you have the Google column in the far right and a lot of information here I can do Google Maps if I want to show restaurants or some local areas of course YouTube videos are incredibly valuable but Google Drive right here gives me the ability to pull anything from my Google Drive and add it directly to my site page. So I'm going to go ahead and choose form and I'm going to search for a form called project submission. And when it comes up, I'll grab one of these. It comes up, it asks me if I want to include a border, if I want to include the title. I, it's personal preference there, whatever, whatever you prefer. But I choose save and when I do, I get my gadget edit window here so I can center my form if I'd like. I can change, if I come back into this gear right here for the properties, I can change the size, I can change the width of my form and how it's embedded. I'll just leave it for demonstration purposes. I'll just leave it the way it is for now. I choose save and save again and then right there I have a Google form embedded directly onto my, onto my Google site. Real easy, real simple, and a great way to build an online classroom site, a great way to build an online form submission to gather information on clients and a number of other things. So I hope this was helpful and uh, good luck.